one last vegetable garden tour for 2023. Over here the chicory is really starting to take off as everything else kind of settles down for the summer. These herbs are still looking nice and it's going to be time to harvest cabbages very soon. The rhubarb we just planted this year that came from a maybe like a 10 inch pot has gotten massive. All these squash and pumpkins were volunteers that sprouted on the compost pile. So in the spring I planted uh, mostly green dent corn, but then I ran out of seed. So I planted some glass gem corn in the corner here and across pollinated with my green dent corn. It definitely looks cool, but uh, definitely doesn't look like green dent corn anymore. There's a few gourds. Most of the squash is mostly done for the year. We harvested quite a few pumpkins and gourds the other night. We probably won't be getting any more 10 plus pound harvest from the tomatoes. There is still quite a few on the vine that can ripen, or uh, if we get a frost in the forecast, we can harvest them and take them in the house to ripen. The cucumbers are pretty much done for a year, or pretty much done for the year, but I see there's still a few out here that we can harvest. Um, this one, I'll just go ahead and give to the chickens. Uh, speaking of the chickens, they're all doing pretty good. Uh, you may know, you may have seen the video, Oreo passed away just over a week ago now. Besides uh, her, uh, all the rest of the chickens are pretty healthy right now and quite a lot of them are molting as we get further into fall. These tomatillos are just starting to give us tomatillos that are ready to harvest. Green beans, pretty much done for the year. They're still producing a little bit. This is a volunteer tomato plant right here. This amaranth outside that I actually planted is nothing like this volunteer amaranth plant inside the greenhouse chicken coop. Speaking of the greenhouse, the tomatoes at this point are just doing fantastic in here. Uh, a ton of them are starting to ripen. The peppers did great in here all summer long. There's even a couple volunteer tomato plants in here that are producing as well. Stepping out the door of the greenhouse, uh, we have the rest of our peppers, uh, they're all doing pretty darn good. Just got another big harvest the other day. You see here's a nice looking little bell pepper. Got some sun gold tomatoes. These cherry tomatoes will go forever, uh, literally until it frosts. All those seed heads and the sunflowers will make nice treats for the chickens. These zinnias from MI Gardener are doing amazing. The ever-bearing strawberry plants are still going strong into almost October, but it'll freeze before these get a chance to ripen. Well, this corn cob retained a little more greenness of the green dent corn. I think I'll wait a few more weeks for these cobs to get a little drier. Uh, the kernels aren't juicy anymore, but they're definitely not dried out. So I'll let them continue to dry in the stocks. Uh, just let the wind do what it does, dry them out, and then harvest it. Uh, maybe grind some of the seeds up, feed to the chickens, and definitely save some to plant again in future years. Well, I have to say it's been one heck of a vegetable garden this summer. Uh, the summer was super dry, but that can work out super well for vegetable gardens. If you have a way to water it, at least for the first month while everything's getting established, because uh, with hot and dry weather, you've got a lot of sun, which is what plants need to grow. And then if you're able to provide water, uh, stuff just takes off and grows like crazy. Definitely my personal best uh, tomato harvest. I think we must have had well over 150 pounds from just about 50 plants here. So that's over three pounds per plant on average. We made a ton of stuff with it, uh, pizza sauce, spaghetti sauce, salsa, just plain canned tomatoes. I prayed before the summer for a good harvest and God delivered and then some. We're definitely blessed to have the ability to grow garden like this 
and provide a lot of our own food for the year. Thank you all for watching today. Um, if you wanna see the garden progress throughout the summer, there's a link to the playlist right here. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to Al's Homestead so you don't miss out on the summer 2024 vegetable garden tours.